Hey, Judy. How you feeling? Shitty, but something came to me. So what did you come up with? The mocks dive. Lizzie's bar used to be a joy house. Tiger claws killed one girl too many, so people took matters into their own hands. It belongs to us now. Klaus could stand to get the same makeover. Got the mocks to agree to take over Clouds? No, I'm trying to get you. Know someone at Clouds will take our side. Will you help? Fine. Got me on board. Oh, yes. Okay, so what's the plan? First up, we gotta talk to Michael Maida. If she's not with us, might as well throw our hands up in the air. Michael Maeda? Who is she, exactly? Girl who unofficially runs clouds. Good at it, too. What's she do officially? She's a doll, so she's a nobody. Evelyn? Michael? You seem to know your way around clouds. He used to work there. Helped him out with their behavioral chip. Perfecting it. Why'd you leave? Didn't like the vibe. Place reeked of exploitation. Sure, Maiko's gonna want to join forces? If I was sure, I'd be on the hollow to her and we wouldn't be having this conversation. Let me rephrase. Any chance she'll slap us around and shove us out her mega tower window? Of course, sure. Guess I can work with that? How well do you know this, Michael? Too well. When are we doing this? Early morning. Clouds will be closed. Hardly a soul lurking at that time. How early? 4-8. I'll be by the entrance. Uh, scratch that. The balcony above clouds. We'll sneak in. No one needs to know we're there. Balcony. Got it. Hey, V. Thanks for showing. Talking with Michael is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. Some deeds about her could be useful. When I talk to her, don't you think? No. Leave the talking to me. You seem a bundle of nerves. I have a mind to kill the bastards with my bare hands. So yeah, you could say I'm a teensy bit nervous. How do you aim to get her over to our side? By telling the truth. About Evelyn. What happened and why. Think that'll cut it? No. Have to improvise from there. So in brief, I'm just here as your hustle, right? Never said that. I just know the woman better. I'm ready. Let's go. Judy Alvarez. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. Also, I never like surprise parties, but you know. Yup, bet I even know why. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the mocks. Guess you've managed to stoop even lower now. You somehow never fail to lower my expectations. First you settle for the mocks, now murderers. I shudder to think what's next. Yes, V. I mean you. Oh, don't mind me. Just here to blend into the decor. That's no reason. Why come at all? To make sure Judy gets what she came for. Jude would have had a better chance without you. Judy has a proposal about clouds. Want to come back? Done. Always valued your skills, you know that. Just don't get why you had to drag this... loose end in here. Stop treating dolls like meat and I'll consider it. But first things first. Clouds needs to be taken from the Tiger Claws. Okay, look. It's clear what happened to Ev was... traumatic. Huh? I was convinced you didn't know. That girl was asking for an unhappy ending. I was just surprised it took so long. We gotta do something! Or everyone will end up like Evie! 
Woodman raped her while she was unconscious, then sold her like she was so much scrap. Yeesh, you've always been unstable. Okay, since you seem more reasonable, care to explain what this is about? Judy's idea? Think about it. Could work. Well, well, Jude. See, you found a true and loyal fan. This is a waste of our time. Come on, we'll get by without her. Jude, be sure to give me a call once you're done mourning and want to get back to reality. That went smoothly. She totally blew us off. Probably needs some time to think. A couple days, tops. And you might be right. I'll call her tomorrow. You two have a history? Way back, yeah. I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. And so was I. Can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game. Line between patting you on the back as their friend and planting a knife in you as their enemy is down to a decimal. I know. Right there with you, I... Well, used to have a big crush on her. It took me a long time to realize who she really was. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. <sighs> Just think, could have gone diving this morning. A little unwinding do you good. Do me good too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding, not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head, working it, but I can't say if it'll amount to anything. Yeah. You, a deck chair, and a Mai Tai with cocktail umbrella. Somehow, I don't see it. No. Me and the deck chair is me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now. <laughs> Gotta get back to Maiko with something big. Appealing to her sense of justice wasn't big enough? Michael only works with specifics. For a minute there, thought you were about to call it quits. B, I go for days tuning virtues in a basement. Know what the chances are of somebody blowing my head off down there? Minuscule. Same as Michael's empathy. Unlike you, I don't put myself out there. But this ain't over. Not yet. You know, I'm also partial to specifics. Uh-huh. So that's what matters. How many you'll drop, how much ammo you'll use, how many eddies it'll get you. Art and dreams of freedom can't be everyone's food. Sometimes, you gotta deal with the dirt. So, when now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. I'll call you when I've got something. See you later.